Hello everyone and welcome back to the third episode of the NCAA Basketball 10 series, Dynasty, with the uh, Williams and Mary tribe. Uh, last episode we did, we played a game against Detroit, we lost by four points I think. Uh, we also discovered that Nathan Lee has very minimal interest in us, but it is, I guess, going up. I think that's what that means, that arrow. Uh, he's a four caliber recruit. He's the fifth ranked center in the nation. So we really want him. He's out of Hawaii. Chances are we won't get him. But if he's even slightly interested, look at that. Look at his interest is so low. Wait, hold on. Didn't I already do this? Didn't I already send my letter of interest? I swear I did. Did I not? Hold on, I need to figure some things out. So yes, I did send my letter of interest. However, um, now I can do the other things that I needed to do, which is great. Uh, let's take a look at what this is. Send the recruit a multimedia package containing the history of your program and all recent highlights. Results in one week. Hmm. So we can use the assistant coach phone call. <sighs> so many points. How much do you need to offer it? Do we want to go all in on this guy? His interest is so minimal. Let's give him the head coach call, and then we'll send Glenn the assistant coach call. I think that's probably the best. We can offer him a scholarship now. Let's go with the head coach phone call first, though. Let's see. What should we focus on when we talk to this recruit? Huh. Do we want to go with location or playing time? It's probably going to have to be location, huh? Considering that's why we focused on him. Yeah, let's go with location. Uh, let's not offer a scholarship just yet. Let's go over to Glennon. Or Glenn. I keep saying Glennon for some reason. Um, we watched... I swear we even watched the game, but it hasn't like done anything. Um, we're gonna go with the assistant coach phone call. Uh, or do we want to go with? This is much cheaper to do. I guess it's because he's got such interest in us. Lol. All right, sweet. So we can actually do a couple of these guys if we really want to. Um, let's do the head coach visit then. Where does this guy live? Uh, New Jersey, yeah, let's let's go with location. Okay, cool. I'm pretty much ready to offer this guy a scholarship. I would like to see his stats a bit more before I do so, but uh, now that we know that things are a bit cheaper than they are, let's, uh, let's start talking to some other players. I'm gonna send the letter of interest to Mayo, and also Blake Benton. I'm also gonna send it to Reese, seeing as he's our highest caliber player interested in us. We can also send it to Shivers as well. I'm actually gonna send Shivers the letter of interest and a package because I'm spoiled with points. And I think that's all I'm gonna do for this week because I really don't want to use up any more uh, of those points. Next up on the docket is we've got to fill out Marilyn's roster with names. So let's go ahead and do that. Holy crap! They have 380 overalls. And one of them's a high 80 overall. Oh, there is no chance we're beating this team. We're starting 0 2 for sure. Alright, number one is the starting sender for the Maryland Terrapins. Uh, then they have Alex Van Deren. Van Deren? Van Deren? Uh, it's starting power forward. 84 overall, Jesus. Ryder Van Dam, the starting small forward. So they've got two Van, Van Dees. The Van Dizzles, you could you could call them. The Van Deedles um, in the front court. They've got TJ Steele on starting shooting guard, 81 overall. At 86 overall, a 6'6 point guard named Carson Cunningham. They've got Caden Weisenbeck, a junior shooting guard off the bench. They've got Xavier York, a uh, junior point guard. Jarrell Highsmith, 6'8", power forward. Nick Garant, 71 overall, small forward. They got Brandon Coleman, Michael McHugh, 
Nicola Anthony, Jackson Rod. That's a pretty talented roster. I don't know how we're going to beat this team. We're going to have to hit a lot of threes. So we have some reports come in from our assistant coach. Let's take a look. Hey coach, we've heard some good things about M. Wiggins. He's really interested in our program and we may want to pay him a visit. Well, we uh, did so. We've heard S. Shepard is extremely interested in attending our school. He may be worth looking at. Shepard, okay, I'll take a look at him. N. Ramirez ex is extremely interested in attending our school and is wondering why we haven't contacted him. We've heard B. Mayo is extremely interested. Yeah, okay. Benton, L. Harbor. Oh, we got an email from T. Glenn. I thought you might want to know that I'm leaning towards signing with William and Mary, but Navy and UNC Asheville are still on my radar for the time being. Oh my gosh. Hopefully our visit with him will sway him towards us rather than Navy or UNC Asheville, because we're a much better school than them. Outside game, inside game, and passing are all lacking. Tyson is being recruited heavily because he can score down low. Well, apparently not. He doesn't block as many shots as he should with his talent. Tyson will always have an eye on the pros. Leon Harper. Yeah, we probably want to try and talk to this guy, don't we? Alright, Leon Harper, you won me over. Oh man, our bench is so bad. That belch coming, off of the, coming out of the starting rotation doesn't even drop him that far. He's still our 8th man at 67 overall. What if we just went with like a, a guard-focused lineup? Like, we brought Bird into the game. He can't actually shoot all that well. Who was that other shooter that was decent? 63. RJ Weeks. We gotta try something. We got. We need some way to beat this team. And I think that potentially just putting a bunch of shooters around... Oh, God. Just putting a bunch of shooters around Fearless might be the way to go. I don't know. It'll be interesting to see, to say the least. We'll put Boom as our our six man. Oh my God! <laughs> Look at that. A minus A A minus. <sighs> this is gonna be a sad, sad game. It still says we're doing a half court style, which is obviously not true. We're gonna move over to up tempo because we really want to push it. Get a lot of threes. Get a lot of layups. Four out motion. Perfect. Attack immediately. Score and transition, take and make the three. I think that's it. The William and Mary Hall. We're gonna boost it to 10 minutes. Just so we have a m more of a chance to win. We're gonna go with ESPN because this is Maryland. This is a big team. This is a ranked team. So if we beat them, it's gonna be all over the internet. The Tribe are off to a rocky start, Nicky V. Hey, college teams with sub-500 records don't usually make it for exciting games. I could be wrong. I hope so. I hope I'm wrong. There's a look, Nick, at the starting lineups. Hey, Brad, check out the power forwards. These kids are fun to watch. They've got enough skill level to carry their respective teams to victory. Oh, man. Here we go. No way we're getting this. Oh, we got it anyway. Wide open, but we missed it. These This team can actually shoot the three, so... Good defense. Our team is so hyped for this game. Throw it out. Give me that ball. Let's go. Fearless. Nice. Hey, number one with his number one foul. To the rim. Nice rebound. He missed it. Oh, he threw it out again. Give me that ball. Fearless. He can make that, but he missed it. Number one ain't gained nothing on Be Fearless. I can't tell if Be Fearless's parents were trolling him or very confident with him. To the rim. Nice. If we can foul him out, that would be huge. 
Hey, nice. Nice, made both. Oh, another great block. Don't want to take the three with Estrada. I do not trust him. Harvey with a great shot. Yes! Ah, that's on me. Oh, he missed it. I'm watching Harvey. Nope. Not making that play. Back outside. Patton had it for a second, but... Let's go to Fearless. Let's see if they double. They did for a second, but he got it back wide open. Hey, he made it! Nah, he's gonna make that. Oh! Oh, he made it! What an absolute legend. Oh, nice shot. Get the rebound. Couldn't get it. Number one makes it. Alright, we're taking a timeout. Alright, so Fearless is leading the game in scoring. Juan has two rebounds, and Estrada has two assists. Boom. Tie game. Harvey. What the hell was that? They just like walked past me. God damn it. Alright, let's try this new rotation out. Oh, nice play. Nice play. Oh my god, he fell over. God damn. Oh my god, Harvey's a boss. Good Christ. Oh yeah, nice. Beautiful play. At the end of the first half, the Terrapins are up by one. William and Mary came up short on the rebound again in the first half, that's for sure. And the ball will continue to bounce towards the opposition as long as they fail to seal off and block out their guys. And while we get a moment here, let's take a look at the keys for each of these teams today. I've been really impressed with how hard both teams are playing. These numbers show you how they've been performing. We are terrible in the transition game right now. We gotta get more points. Nice switch. Can't get the rebound though. Can't get it again. Come on guys, that is terrible. He is not. Oh, fearless. <laughs> He's open, come on! Yes! Oh my god, he made it. Son of a bunny. He's open, but he can't make it. Ah, oh, man. Nice! You missed it. We've got a chance here. Weeks is open. Missed it. I do not know how to shoot with Estrada. Gosh dang it. Oh, he's a 60. He's not even as good as Weeks. God dang it. He is open. 
Nice defense. Ah, uh, Harvey had it, but I was scared. Oh, what a shot. Nearly had it there. Damn it. Get that rebound. Nice. Harvey's open. Oh! Beautiful. I, I saw him running down the court. I was like, should I curry it? I'll curry it. Harvey leading the game with 17 points. Van Dam has six assists. And uh, number one with nine rebounds. Stamina wise, I think we're doing pretty good. I'm going to stick with this lineup because it is seemingly working. I made it. All right, we got to hold on to this lead. Oh, nice block, damn it. We got like all of our guards defending that guy. Oh, Weeks. Very nice. We need defense. Van Dam with the ball. Get back out on him. Oh. Good defense. I'm telling you, Harvey wants it. He got it. Aha. Wait, what? Wait, it was the foul on us? What did we do? Oh, my God. Yeah, definitely. Oh boy, here we go. Terrible defense, but it doesn't matter. What is it, within 40 they start to foul? I'm not sure. How did he miss that? Well, they gotta hit a three, so just don't foul, guys. Harvey's got 23 points, oh my gosh. They got him wide open. My god. There's only one guy we're going to. What a game, what a game. I don't even... <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Let, let's take a look at the player of the game. Here's a look at our main stars, our players of the game. I tell you, being recognized as the player of the game is a great accomplishment for this young guy. However, getting the W is much better. Obviously, Harvey is the player of the game, but I... <sighs> Patton. Just absolutely terrible game. Came up... Super clutch, though. He also had six boards in his first game as starting power forward, so... Huh, man. Uh, good game. Good game. <laughs> oh my gosh. That is just amazing. Our bench played pretty well. Uh, Weeks in his first game as a starter played extremely well, so we might stick with that going forward. A game winner to be a ranked opponent in Maryland. That is just 
an absolute amazing way to go. We're now obviously one and one in the season. Oh my gosh, that that is just such a such an amazing. We don't have any new messages from the athletic director or recruiting. So I think that's just where we're going to end, end today's episode. Next episode, we should have some details on some guys and know a few more things. And then our next game is against Portland State. So get your comments in this video and get yourself on Portland State's roster. Uh, what a game. What an episode. Thank you guys so much for watching the NCAA series. Keep on getting on, everybody. Tribe Nation. Peace.